So I just got the Pico Brew C here, came in the mail, and I was just gonna do an unboxing. Well, I got it yesterday, so I'm doing it this morning here. Unboxing to see what you get in the package here, and uh, hopefully make some more videos on brewing beer with this. So let's open it up. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> okay, so first thing you get when you open this is a box that kind of tells you everything that's in here and uh, just doing a little quick summary and kind of putting it together. So I'm just going to kind of go over what's in here. We'll see if I actually put this together. But all right, so got that right here. Let me get each box out. So. Yeah, this first little box here is in there. <laughs> this one's nothing. I guess that's why it says void fill on it. This is an empty box. Next one here. Basket. So we got the hot basket in here. Uh, we got a tube uh, for wrapping the beer in your keg. And then I guess some cleaning stuff. More cleaning. Cleaning one. And this one has the Pico through really like a neoprene cover for the keg. Alright, got that in the first box. There's so many boxes in here. I gotta do the small ones first to work my way up. This one here you can see I guess is the Pico Brew serving keg. That's what that looks like. What we got here? Comes in this. Right there, you can seal it. Oh, oh. I use the keg attachments for this one. I'm probably not going to open it because I don't think I'm going to use this for a while. Uh, I have a keg system, but you can see it's there. Made in Germany. It's like a mini keg. But I'm going to actually put it back in a box because I know I won't be using this for a while. I have a good keg system I'll be using. That's different. That comes in there. Here is the, I guess, the special Pico Brew keg that works only with the C. It doesn't have the ball lock, so now it's a big debate about. But this one is dishwasher safe. So it kind of comes out here. Decent size keg. Actually, decent size. Bigger than I thought it'd be. Oh, there we go. It's still warm on the inside. Gives room for, for brewing. So, not bad. Is there anything else in here? No, so we take it out of the bag. Maybe plastic. Might be more rubbery. It's a plastic top. Rubbery bottom. Nothing on the inside. Maybe just come up. It's labeled in and out of this place. Oh, yeah, the inside has a little gasket seal. You'll see here, that's the top there. That was the rubber gasket for it. Um, and the, uh, the fermentation thing you slap on the side of this. Not sure if I'm going to use that. And then the fermentation top thing to seal it. I don't have any oh, pressure seals in that extra little. Things. So, little, I guess, uh, rubber thing going here. So, I how they do that pressure seal, but that's what's in this. Actually, let me put it back in the box. 
box. I guess siphon up the egg and the beer and I'll try it and then I'll put this through. And lastly, I think there was this all we have, what I'm guessing here it is the Pico Perfume itself in a massive big box. Right there. So, this whole system comes in a very big box. I can't imagine what the you know, Pico Z comes in. You know, multiple ones. But, got yeah, here, so let's open it up and see what this guy can do. Now, I ordered the blemished one, which they said could have like a, a um, ding in it or something like that. But it wouldn't affect the functionality, which I didn't really care about. I'm not here to have aesthetics. You know, it's a lot cheaper. It's $250 for the whole thing. So. So it kind of got me on it. You might worry to go too hard with the knife in here just in case there's something important at the top. There we go. Alright, slide this over. What do we got? More cardboard. Hold it in place. Bone. Uh, Pico Brew is basically facing you uh, here. So let me see if I can get this. Yeah, maybe I'll tip it. So, I can slide it out. And I think the part, the reason why Pico C is cheap, I think these left volts, but it also. More plasticky, more plastic parts like this. Over here, that out. And this is C. Comes in. That's oh, metal. Metal top. Oh, it's plastic top. But it's kind of taped together, so let's take some of the stuff off. See what it looks like. Pour water at some point. So, yes. yeah. They have foam around. I think there's two ports here, the side ports. Here. Put that on. If I can, I'm going to use my knife. I have a little bit. I have a hard time with this thing. So, I think it is. Uh, don't hit the tube. Okay. Just open that up. And then you have the neck tube that go back and forth. And now labeled. It's nice. I always see things that aren't labeled before. It looks like everything's labeled, but they've been to hold this in. I haven't seen where this is blemished. I mean, maybe here. That's fine. That's dust. Let's see where the blemish is. So you got this system here. The tray. We're going to do the um, third end. This is a silicone top. Which I think the older models had like a hard top, like the soft top. Filter ports. I suppose the whole thing is basically self cleaning, so we'll see how that turns out, more or less. I can get down here. Let's do this over the edge here. Yeah. Okay. Still haven't seen the blemish. It goes in one way. In the back, just the power port here. Thank <laughs> you. 
I mean, maybe the backside's blemished, but I don't know if anything yet that's blemished. So, like, this backside is like little. Looks like it's just sticky, I guess. That could be from this, you know, the tape. But I haven't noticed anything that's caused this to be a blemished model. So, in that case, I basically got a brand new Pico C for uh, what, 250. We go for 400 or something like that, or 3 339. So it's a little on sale. But hey, I'm all for this blemished product, though. I don't really care for the looks necessarily. This one turned out pretty good. Yeah, I don't see anything. So let's go get everything out of here. Came with it. And we have a final shot. So I got the tag here. Peek over C. Got the keg koozie in here. The hop holder. Cleaning, cleaning tablets. And then you got the mini thing here. I guess this is a cleaning solution that can be worn as part of the package. That's what I'll leave out here. Yes. But, well, I guess we can take it out, whatever. much everything. I don't see anything else out here. So that's what we got here. We got uh, what you get in the Pico Fruit C unboxing. I know I had questions what exactly came with it. It's kind of hard to see when they list online what each thing is. So now you can see what everything is and hopefully this becomes a worthwhile purchase. Um, I'll let you know and make more videos on my experience with this and how I'm going to adapt growing with the Pico C. As always, thanks for watching.